Okay, in these questions, we've got three numbers and we're told to say what the six represents. So look at the first one here, six, two, three, and I'm gonna write it in this table that I've written over here. Six, two, three. So I want the six, so I'm gonna circle the six and that is in the hundreds column. So the hundreds, I'm gonna write six, hundred, okay. Now, in the exam, you probably wouldn't write that in words, you'd just write 600, okay? Now, looking at the next one, we've got 806, so I'm gonna write 806. I'm gonna circle the six again, because that's the one I'm looking for. And what have we got? We've got six units, so that's six units. Once again, thinking about the exam, you will probably just write six. Okay, and then the last one's a little bit trickier because we've got three columns in our table here, but we've only got two numbers. Now you've got to go from right to left, right to left here. So I'm going to write that as eight and then six. Okay, I'm going to circle the six once more. That's the one I'm looking for. And that is in the tens column. So I'm going to write six tens. Now, once again, in, in the exam, we wouldn't use six tens, we'd use 60. Now, when we're looking at these, we're looking at place value. Okay, so the six represents a different amount depending on where it is in the number. So this is 623, we're looking at 806 units, and we're looking at 60, six tens, and eight. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done.